What's up, guys? SuperGunG88. I'm here with Rick. He just went 4-0 today in uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament with at least 25 people. Uh, you got first place with Evil Swarm. So, Rick, go ahead and show us the deck. All right. Well, you guys, I start out uh, triple Mandragoras. Uh, triple casters, just because both of those just give you so many more double summons and options. Uh, the triple Thunderbirds, because they're great for... Uh, they're great for luring out for traps because you can just, you know, pop them whenever they try to bottom list or such. The only thing they can't really get around is Solomon Judgment. Uh, I do run the triple Heliotrope, and with that I run the double Rabbit just because it makes the deck so much faster. A um, couple of the cards, I run the Obliv Obliv-A-Wisps because they're great, um, I guess you could say traps. You set them face down, have someone attack them, next thing you know the monster that they tried so hard to get out is completely negated. Uh, their effects, so it, it helps a lot against like Loggy and Dolka, the rabbits and such. Uh, I also run double the Evil Swarm Ray Hresveld, or however you pronounce the name. These are just great to just drop anything from back from back row to uh, to monsters if they're just annoying the hell out of you. Uh, I do run the Salamanders as well. They're just great for uh, for beat stick cards if you have nothing else to run off of. Okay. I do run one Zahawk for the in case of uh, Mermails or such. She helps blow up anything that's level 5 or higher. Okay. And it's just very useful. And Gores, because, well, Gores is Gores. Alright. Spells? For the spells, you've got your staple cards, you know, Heavy, uh, Dark Hole, Reborn. Uh, I do run a book. Uh, forbidden Dress. One Tech Dress? Yeah, Tech Dress. And then I do only run double MSTs. Why do you keep rotating these cards around, man? You're killing me. Sorry. <laughs> okay. And then the, the star of the deck, yeah. I assume, for and spells? The star of the deck is always and shall always be the Pandemic. These are the reasons why you only run double MSTs, because these roll over everything. There's almost nothing that can get past them. All right. And then we go for traps. I run uh, Solemn Warning and Judgment. All right. Uh, I do run one Breakthrough skill. Just tech Breakthrough? Tech Breakthrough. Uh, I run one Torrent because if they do end up going off and you've got the uh, the Magic Spell card face down, you Torrent, chain the, chain the effect, now all your monsters are there and his just die. All right. Uh, mirror. Yes. Hey. Double bottomless, yeah. and then oh, awesome. double prison, Look, just you in case. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. Two and yeah, that was that was basically everything I did. Uh, All right, go ahead and go to the, the extra deck real quick. Uh, my extra deck that I'm running is one Ouroboros. All right. Uh, uh, Reddit, I can find them buried somewhere in my deck. Double, uh, double Ophian. I found three was excessive. Okay. Two, two just works. You can search out real easily with those and summon them real easily. Uh, I did run double Nightmare in case uh, I ran. Did you use it a lot? I used it somewhat. It actually helps a lot uh, because a lot of people nowadays are running Armory Arm. So because of the ability, you only lose like 950 when you put him in defense. Okay. That, if they do special, he's great to book. He's a book card. I also run uh, the double Thanatoses. These work well against uh, the Fire Fist because you can virtually make them indestructible and they can't be blown up by Bear. So unless they have that 1,000 thousand attack power trap card, you're, okay. they're basically screwed. Um, and, of, and of course, the biggest heart of the card, the Evil Swarm Bahamuts. I only run double because, again, you don't really need much more than that for, for the Bahamuts. Uh, these are just fantastic because they're permanent change of hearts. Hey, do you want the... Um... And then I just got some standards. I use a Gem Knight Pearl for muscle in case I'm getting out muscled by something. Uh, Utopia... Shockmaster, and of course Emerald and Chain to kind of recycle. Wow, it's like everything in deep or uh, in Arsenal Seven. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> and a little more. Yep. All right. Well, thanks for sharing, Rick. Uh, Congratulations. Thanks. And thanks for watching.